In this chapter, we're going to learn about the alpha slash beta uh, protein structure. These categories have uh, the most frequent and most regular proteins. They do have beta pleti sheet at the center and surrounded by alpha helices. Active sites are positioned on loop regions, not the beta nor alpha. There are three classes in this category. First will be team barrel or called closed alpha slash beta barrel. you see here, parallel, parallel betas making barrel stop. You know, way first betas meet eighth uh, betas. And following loop and alpha helices is just uh, Position outside betas. Second group will be uh, spread mode of parallel or mixed betas at the center and having helix and loop alpha helices both sides here, top, here, bottom. Third type will be lucian rich motif or called alpha slash beta horseshoe or fold where you can see one side of parallel betas contact with solvent while the other side of beta interact with loop and alphas. They do have all together beta alpha beta motif. What makes then the overall structures different so numerically? This explains the overall structure difference. At left panel shows two beta alpha beta motif are positioned next to each other so that betas are uh, numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 in a row. However, right panel shows first motif and followed by the reverse orientation of second motif so that overall number of betas will be 4, 3, 1, 2 given that alpha, a beta alpha motif uh, is always right handed so that in this case, that structure, all betas are positioned above the parallel beta planes. Whereas, on right panel, where the helix, helix is positioned above of parallel betas, the blue Helix is positioned below beta plane. Team barrel typically has eight uh, parallel betas at the center.
and it, this kind of structure could be part of a large complex and it could also uh, extra large loop or sometimes extra alpha that's very common in addition to 8 beta sen at 8 alpha helices the minimum core uh, residues are 200 residues among which 160 residues is position in making alpha slash beta the rest residues fully uh, in loop this thin barrel uh, is a really uh, appearing in many enzymes um, with uh, uh, diverse functions Major forces to stabilize this kind of uh, architecture. Uh, many layers of hydrophobic core inside be parallel beta core, and also not shown here, but uh, between beta and alpha. Uh, helices. This structure uh, schematically showing the pyruvate kinase with the several domains. Uh, the red one at the center uh, having tin barrel. So tin barrel could exist as a uh, part of large uh, complex. Uh, two enzymes, uh, PRA isomerase and IGP synthase, is uh, a part of uh, enzymes uh, in tryptophan uh, biosynthesis. As you see here, uh, what kind of reactions they uh, catalyze? The, they show uh, this the chemical structures, so that actually two enzymes adopt tin barrel, but the two enzymes. Uh, Sometimes you just as combined single polypeptide, uh, like in coli, but uh, sometimes it just uh, exists as uh, separate enzymes, as in bacillus and subtilis. So actually, it doesn't uh, matter that much whether uh, protein just uh, exist as separate or uh, combined. Interesting thing is active site uh, for the tin barrel uh, position on this site. The end of uh, C terminal of beta and following the loops. This is a uh, uh, representing Ruby's core uh, with uh, uh, the active site where you can see um, the substrate binds to um, its active site, red one. This means two things are actually separated for this category stability and functions because stabilities are 
actually uh, attributed to the interactions between secondary structures, beta, alphas, or beta, beta, as we saw in previous slide. While active sites are positioned mostly in loop regions. This is very significant because uh, we could use take advantage of this uh, phenomenon in designing proteins. Two things could be separable functions and stabilities. Next question will be How do new enzyme activities will evolve? I mean, uh, produced. There are two possibilities. First, are new enzymes formed from random sequences generated by recombination and other genetic or rearrangement or do they arise by divergent evolution from a pre-existing set of enzymes second one has a strong evidence there are two enzymes Mendelate racemase and nucleate lactonizing enzyme, two enzymes catalyze two different reactions. First one and second one at a first glance. But the uh, comparing uh, details for the reactions shows some similarity. Two reactions just occur by two steps. However, the right side identical. When you look at from the uh, right side, both abstract hydrogen from the substrate and C. Uh, blue hydrogen and the second half reactions occur uh, through the intermediate. The total reaction is totally different. Uh, so first one is the um, isomerization reaction which and H are reversed. Second reaction is the ring uh, closure. Open the ring, make a closure. But the reaction mechanisms are very similar. In addition, when comparing two enzymes, they share sequence homology at 26%. This strongly suggests two proteins probably evolved by duplication followed by modification. In hemophilus influenza, one third of total genes are actually sharing gene sequences, strongly supporting duplication and modification with TF. I may continue the explanation in second part.